to be a great people, Kalel. They wish to be. They only lack the light to show the way. Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Things are a little bit different. Um, I actually did not shoot an intro to this video. Uh, I think I mentioned it in the video. I, I'm going to shoot it there, but I, it, it was just a crazy... My, my battery was completely dead, so I did not shoot an intro to that video. Um, I started already having picked up a bunch of items, and you'll see in the video shortly. Uh, but we're changing up the format again. Um, <laughs> I'm still pretty, you know... Um, I'm still fairly new here on YouTube, so I want to change things up and get things kind of optimized now um, before it grows too, too big where, you know, some people that watch regularly might not like it. So get them used to the to a format that's going to be successful for me in the long run. And by successful, I mean more views. So, um, and a lot of people, you know, I could see the metrics. I could see that towards the end of the video, it just kind of tails off. And I'm investing, you know, time and effort in these videos, especially the end, because I have to do those after the fact. Um, I'm already out about sourcing, so I just turn on the camera. Um, but to actually make the end of the video, I have to, you know, think about what I'm going to talk about, what am I going to say, i got to input the pictures, all that stuff, of um, what's sold, and um, I just don't think it's really translating to more views on the video, and it could make the overall video suffer. So, um, we're going to cut that part out. We're going to put it on my secondary channel. I have a secondary channel called Gem Shorts. It'll be linked down below. Um, I have some shipping videos on there, but um, that's probably where, that's definitely where the um, what sold are going to go. I'm thinking two times a week, maybe one time a week. I'll st I'm not sure exactly. Um, but maybe two, at least once a week, I'll be posting on there what sold and or talking points as far as what reselling, uh, what's happening in the reselling world. It won't be on the main channel, um, just because it could have, um, you know, effects on my other videos that uh, you know, I'm trying to push out and try to get more views on as well, too. Trying to show you guys what to pick up, what to buy, because that's the most important thing when it comes to reselling is finding items that you can actually resell. Um, but uh, hopefully um, you guys enjoy it. I got a catchy tune, I think at the end, a little country vibe to it. Um, but, uh, it, just a little bit about me. I grew up listening to country music. Well, obviously, it was one of my favorite music categories, it, you know, from even my early childhood. And obviously, I branched out after that to other different uh, realms, you know, rock and roll, rap, all the other stuff. Um, like a you know very broad range now, but in the beginning of my life, it was all about country music. So I picked a little country tune, and thank goodness it was not copyrighted, so I can actually use it in this video. Um, or I can actually use it in my videos without uh, being uh, demonetized, I guess, or either demonetized. Sometimes you could share. The, the monetization uh, with the creator, but this video is luckily free to play, and I really don't want to use any of the, the YouTube provided music. Um, you'll see, you'll hear it in a lot of other, you know, content creators. It's not bad. It's just I don't. You know, I wanted something catchy, something cool, something a little country. <laughs> I just wanted to go a little country. You know, it's not everybody. You know, it's nice, cool. I don't know that everybody likes country, but I think it's a catchy tune, and and everybody will kind of like it. I hope. Let me know down in the comments down below what you think of the song and what you guys think of the new format of the videos. Uh, please like the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, and um, let's get into it. This is already what we're looking at here. A straight full cart. I just got here um, probably about 30 minutes ago. Kind of slowly moved my way over to see... Um, one of the usual vendors, her name's Lupe. You guys probably heard me talk about her. You know, I buy a lot of stuff. And, um, really quickly, let's just take a look at some of this. How much on the sculpture? Kevin, this is. Yes. Yes? Okay. Pretty cool. I'll take it. There you go. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Um, we might have paid a little bit too much for that, but I'm going to look it up. It's Mart. It's horsehair. 
it's uh, Native American, right up my alley. I think it's, uh, it's definitely not stone. I don't think it's stone. Well, it's kind of hard. Is it? Maybe it's not horsehair and further inspection, but it's a really cool piece. Um, okay, it is signed. We'll look into that later. I probably should have got it for five dollars, but um, but I'm kind of taking a bit of a risk or a gamble on it. This is the alien from. Um, Oh, that's pretty cool. It's missing the guy. It's the alien from uh, Independence Day. Okay, but... Um... This is like the old, the original Barbie. Just a little keychain. I've looked those up before. They're not really, really worth it. And they don't move that fast. Okay. Go to see in the card again, too. Um, there's a lot of baseball stuff, a lot of baseball magazines, nothing really too worth it. I kind of grab like key stuff. Um, I started off at Lupin's getting some uh, 60s uh, basketball cards. They're buried on the bottom. There's no way I'll be able to find them down there. But then we found some brochures that seem to be worth it. We got some rap magazines. We got some uh, baseball spikes or baseball cleats however you wish to call it. Um, we got pants, we got Nike golf pants up in there. We got this Smith and Mills, which goes for 25 bucks. Uh, so everything in here generally is gonna average around $20 for each item. So, um, some might be a little bit less, some might be a little bit more, but on average, it's gonna be about $20 an item on this, you know, each item on this whole car. We got some vintage binoculars in there. I got this skateboard. This skateboard goes for like $60. It's um, it's not even anything really that great. It's uh, just a, like, a, like from Target. You know, they slap Star Wars on it. It has Darth, Darth uh, no, it's not a Darth. It's, um, it's Kylo Ren. He's not a Darth. He's a Ren. <laughs> Let's get that straight. Um, and so, generally like, the villains tend to do quite better in Star Wars. Like, if you find Darth Vader, it'll probably do better than Luke Skywalker. You know, Kylo Ren will probably do better than um, Rey. Well, those things are creepy. Um, and then you go into, uh, you go into, like, the, um, you know, Star Wars Legends. And, you know, Darth Revan. You know, Darth, who else? There's Darth, uh, everything's a Darth. You know, Darth Bane. There are some cool, older Star Wars figures. They were, um, that you definitely want to be on the lookout for. I'll tell you what, I haven't found any out here in the wild, only in collections. But they were, um, together with comics. Uh, Dark Horse comics. They were sold along with the Dark Horse comics, and they're Star Wars figures from Legends. So those ones in used condition can do incredibly well. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to. It'd be hard to. In my opinion, if you don't know what you're looking for, it'd be hard to kind of find those those Star Wars figures. Okay, there's some music right here. We're gonna try to rush. Actually, I don't really. Uh, actually, I think there's another vendor on the end. Let's quickly run through here, get through the music really quick, and hopefully I don't get uh, copyright on this. But um, if I move quickly and if I talk, we should be okay. Um, so like I was saying, it's kind of hard to determine uh, which figures are going to be worth and which ones aren't. Look up on eBay. Get used to it. Look up on eBay because pretty much where you're only going to where you're going to find them: Star Wars, Dark Horse, Legends action figures pack. So you'll just see there's like Cade, uh, a character called Cade Skywalker, um, Darth Talon. Um, I'm trying to remember all the names right now. 
off the top of my head. Um, Darth Krat. So definitely keep, you know, look, look up some of those names. Look them up on eBay, see what they go for. You know, they're used condition, I think as low as 30 or $40 each. And if you can find somebody with, you know, a bunch of Star Wars figures, maybe go through them and look. Okay, let's move through here. Let's go. Got to move through all the music because I'm pretty sure. I have to cut some of this out. Okay. Oh, it's, we are dying out here. It is hot. I'm kind of glad that, you know, first of all, I was able to buy everything at Lupus. You know, that helps just to have one, you know, one vendor that will supply quite a bit of stuff for you. Um, plus, also, the blazing hot day. There's a dollar for the football. Yeah, dollar, man. Dollar it is. There you go, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, lots of great stuff. I mean, I don't usually do breakdowns in these videos, however. Because, uh, I don't know if I said this in the beginning or not, my batteries were dead. Camera and mic battery are both dead as soon as I got here. I'm like, what the? I totally forgot to charge these things up overnight. Busy, busy, busy. Lots of busy week. Very busy week. Um, you know, eBay updated. I'll probably do... I don't know if I'll do a separate video on it or not. It's not really news, but they updated their uh, web page. They kind of separated their advertising out into a separate uh, little category, which I think is great because it was kind of bundled up in uh, in the marketing tab. So it's great that it has its own section now. So I think are wired. Yeah, not really going to be worth it. Won't sell as quick, won't sell for as much. Wired. <laughs> no battery. Okay, so I stopped to talk to one of my friends there, here. Uh, he's a pretty major, uh, yeah, he's a pretty big record dealer here in the area. And um, he moves a ton of records over at the um, De Anza Flea Market, which you probably heard me talk about. That just occurred this past weekend. One of these days, we will make it out there. Just, I mean, I always... 
it's not necessarily that I take the weekends off. It's weekends are a kind of reserve for family time. So, you know, if we can all go, yeah, that'd be cool. It's me, my wife, two kids. Um, sometimes it's just me and my wife. If the kids don't want to go anywhere, um, or if they don't get up in time, <laughs> sometimes we, they just don't get up in time. And me and my wife will take off to, you know, go to a Goodwill. We don't really take it seriously. I mean, obviously, we're still looking for good stuff, but it's more just time to hang out, unwind. Oh, yeah. Um, get some retail therapy in. That's what we like to do. Um, but, yeah, the weekend's generally reserved for family, you know. We usually go out to eat. You know, we'll take the kids out to eat. Um, take the kids out to do something, maybe go to the beach. Uh, sometimes we'll just go down to the beach just to eat. There's some great places to eat out there along the coast. A lot of good fish. Okay. All right, enough rambling, but that's me. Let's keep moving. I actually got, I have to shoot my intro to this video after I'm done because I didn't get a chance to do it before. Like I said, all my batteries are dead. If you do do recording, check your batteries the night before. Make sure everything's charged up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh, sorry. Here, I have another vendor here. Uh, let's see. Do the belts here. Oh, yeah. there, there, there. Hello. Good, good. How you doing? And just like that, the flea market's wrapped up. This is only <laughs> two vendors. <sighs> no, wait. All right, there's one or two items that are from separate vendors. Like, I bought that football from one. I bought a sculpture from another vendor. So, technically, four vendors, but the bulk of this is just two vendors. This thing is completely filled to the top. I was having stuff spill out. As, as I'm walking, I'm hearing something fall. I'm like, oh, no, pick it up. So, this cart's completely filled. We'll probably have well over close to a thousand dollars worth of listed value. Listed value. Um, big difference between profit val and what the list listed value is. So I'm gonna all list it. Like I already said, um, most of this have been, most of the stuff in this cart is gonna be around twenty dollars each on average. Right here, this right here. This is actually a hammock. This will sell for sixty dollars on its own right here. Um, Where's our name out? There it is, right there. So it folds up into like a little pocket, but that's what you want to look for right there. This is a, ha at first I thought it was like one of those parachute game um, things that you used to do when you were kids in grade school, but um, no, it's a hammock. So we're definitely picking that up. 
otherwise we're gonna get outside uh, stay tuned for the end we're gonna do some what sold and uh, yeah <laughs> I gotta go outside to do I'm, I'm all off today so I got to do my intro and my outro um, right now See 